All right, my friends. So now what I'd like to show you how to do is build this application ready for production. So to do that, we can open up a terminal, make sure you've canceled out of the current process, the dev server, and then we can type npm run build. And this is gonna run the build command to build the application. So before I show you how we can save up this built application and view it in a browser, I wanna just scroll up this terminal a little bit and show you something. So right here, where it shows you all the different pages it's generated, you should be able to see these little icons next to them. So we've got circles that aren't filled and then next to static pages that don't have any initial props. We've got circles that are filled next to pages which are generated as static pages, but do have initial props like the ticket details pages. And then we've got the Lambda next to any pages which are dynamically rendered like the tickets page. And remember, that's because we don't want the fetch to be cached and we're asking it to be refetched every time someone requests that page, right? So now let's try this in a browser to see if it works. And to do that, all we need to do is type npm start and that serves up the built application for us on port 3000. All right then, so I'm at localhost port 3000 where we're serving up this built application this time and it seems good so far. We're seeing the home page. I'm gonna to go to view tickets. And one thing you will notice is that as we're going from page to page, this is much quicker than the dev server. So once you've built the application, we're getting a really good performance. Let's try going to one of the details pages. Yep, that works. Back to the dashboard, try a, another ticket. So this one right here, cool, working. Let's go to the create page. I should really have a button to the create page. I'm gonna put in a new title, so I will say, Clean up the mess on Mario's desk. Okay. And then in here, blah, blah, blah. And then we'll do high priority because it's really messy. Add that and we should see clean up the mess on Mario's desk. Awesome. So this is all working now, my friends. And we now have a fully fledged Next.js 13 application. All right then gang, so that's the end of this crash course, but if you wanna continue learning more about Next13 and how to hook it up with a database, use API routes, add authentication, and explore other features like server actions, then you can carry on with the Next13 Masterclass course I've released on NetNinja Pro. So this crash course right here was just the first chapter of that, and there's another five chapters left on the full course covering loads more stuff. So I'm gonna leave the link to this full course down below the video, it's $10 to buy, but I'm also leaving a promo code in the description as well, which is Next Ninja 50 and that lets you buy it for half price, so just $5. But that promo code is only for the first 500 people that use it. Or if you want to access the entire Net Ninja Pro course library, you can buy a Net Ninja Pro subscription for $9 a month, and your first month is half price when you use this promo code right here, Ninja Fledgling. So then, my friends, I really hope you've enjoyed the course so far, and hopefully I'm going to see you over on NetNinja Pro for the rest.